the fluid movement it brings you to the other side. So if I go sandy here on one, it opens up here, you sit here for this. So it's just an idea where we go like this. You open it up, and instead of having to reset back and open it up every time like this, you're taking that half feet out. So you're going, you're going one, two, one. Now you're going, you're going one, skip that two into three, into four, right? You're making each movement a little more useful. So for the newer guys, we're going to go one and one. And one. Okay, so it's a throw. One, one. Switch partners, okay? Now for the advanced guys, let's stick with the good thing, right? But we're gonna change the angle a bit on this, right? So on the uh, on the good thing, we're gonna go one, two, and then block and then pause on the third one, right? So we're gonna go broken, broken good thing. Okay, so we're going one, 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 and then instead of block on this one, so with, or instead of pause on this one. So what's gonna happen here is traditionally we'll go like this, cross like this. So now we're going to be working at different angles. So when he throws that number one, I'm going to go here, but then I'm going to turn down here. Right? So it's more of a motion of like this versus this. Right? So we're going straight because we want to. Okay? So we go that third one, go like this. Right? So it's going to go down there. So what you're doing essentially is you're leaving the weapon here, and now instead of just saying we're in a situation where, oh, I missed the hit and I ended up hitting here, you can fix that by turning your wrist and then. Here. Do that redondo movement here. So you go here, one, pop. Right? And go the outside here, one. Okay, so again, all it is is you're working here. You say you don't meet on the first impact here. You meet up hot, and you turn down. Ride that weapon down to the hand, okay? Good? Find a new part.